Hello and welcome to my channel, Teresa's Crafty Cabana. Today I'm going to be doing an alcohol ink background with pearls. So these are all either pearl or mixative type colors that I have at the front here. I just got some new colors from Hobby Lobby. They're actually selling out of their supply of Ranger and Tim Holtz products. Um, they're going to be getting in a different brand. Uh, so I got to add a few more colors to my pearl collection and then um, I'm going to be using this paper the Durabright white right here and this is going to be um, my graphics so let's get started with my background five colors I'm going to start with opulent which is a deep purple divine a really pretty bright blue and these three, it's Alchemy, Splendor, Splendor, and Deception. So I'm just going to mix those all up. I do want to try this Sterling Alloy. I've been using the Gold, the Gilded. So I do want to see if this goes well with these as well. So let me mix those up. I'll be using Blending Solution. Start with this purple. So my colors mixed together and I've got this kind of a mucky brownish color and then you can see the pops of color around it. So I know alcohol inks and pearls are different. I don't know if I can go over this now that it's dry and I don't know if I can change it. But we'll try. So I'll just choose some of my purples and blues Let me try this is a really bright pink intrigue and try the bright pink So I really don't know what's going to happen, but I do like these colors together. And try to move this around with a brush. I'm not going to use a real expensive one, just like a craft brush.
Okay, so I dried so that those aren't moving anymore. I do like this blue here, but it looks kind of, I don't know, out of place. So I'll add a little more blue. Maybe connect those. Uh, to wash my brush, I'm going to put some 91% alcohol in a little dish, and then that way I can rinse it out. All right, so I rinsed the purple off of my brush. Just going to see move this blue Okay, so that actually looks pretty cool in the middle. There's the kind of wonky areas around that. Don't really know how to fix this, but I feel like if I keep adding my yellows and oranges, I'm going to keep getting muddy colors. So I'm going to try going with my pink up here. All right, so I got this dry. Definitely see more of the color now in the center. So I wanted to do something where I maybe move some of this around. And I don't mind if I start over in this area. Since it's still wet, I can remove that ink. Just kind of get a fresh start. Okay, let's try that. Now this time I'm going to use a little bit of just regular ink. So I'll do my start drying that. It's looking better in this area now, I think. Now I don't have the bristle brush that Tim Holtz uses. I do have, this is a really cheap brush from Dollar Tree. So you can see those bristles are just kind of plasticky. They're not as thick as the one that he uses, but I'm going to try this just kind of off to the side. I'm putting down some alcohol. Just the 91% alcohol. Just seeing if I can get... Oh yeah. Seeing some splatters. I put a little too much. <laughs> it's all a learning curve here. If you watch Tim Holtz, then you know he'll say, just keep playing. 
Don't feel like you've ruined it. You can just keep going in and reworking it. So that's kind of where I'm at. Just kind of keep reworking it. Do a little bit of some of this pink intrigue. Probably after this section, I'm going to cut it down and have four manageable pieces. All right, so I've got four manageable pieces now. This one, this one, that one, and this one. So I am going to work on, I might fix this, but for now, I'm, I think I'm liking this one. Don't know if I'll do any more to that. This one I'll fix a little bit. For these two, I think I'll start with this one. I'm just gonna start coming in with my blending solution. And a little alcohol. Just trying to get it wet again. I do like that orange, pretty sure that was the Splendor. So I might add a drop there. Use my Alchemy Yellow. So this is a brighter yellow. Alright, so you can see it's build up it's building up color over here, but because there was so much of that silver, it definitely still takes on a pearlized coloring, even though I just used inks over in this area, not pearled inks. So I think I'll fix this side over here because I'm not loving it. Probably won't be using any more of my silver. But we'll see. Yeah, just let that dry. Like that. And then my last one to work on is going to be this one. So I, again, I don't like this. So we're going to fix that with, start with my blending solution. I'm going to just start moving it off the page just like I did the other one. I think I like that deception red color.
And I think I'll stop with that on this one. There's enough, I guess, interesting things happening. I'll come back and show you the one I did just a bit ago. But yeah, this one had the silver. I really only focused on this side. And I liked how this already kind of contrasted over on this side. So that one I'm leaving alone. This is the one I just did. And then for my other two, I think I'll leave this one as is. I like that area. And I'm actually thinking I'll leave this one alone. I might just, I think the only one, thing I wanted to change on here was bringing these colors back. So here are the completed alcoholic backgrounds that I did when I cut it into four. That one. This one. This one has the most amount of white space, which I like. And then this one has a lot of that silver. Alright, so those are my four brightly colored backgrounds, and I will probably be turning these into cards. Alright, hope you enjoyed watching the process. Interesting inks to work with, but fun once you get to know how they react with each other. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting!